Kitzer Shochan Aruch Simen Kufches Simen One Hundred and Eight Halacha Zayin the Seventh Halacha. Okay, so now we're dealing with uh, some of the issues related with transporting the flour to to be baked to the bakery. Now, uh, again, this is somewhat dated, uh, but uh, we definitely we can. It's illustrative of uh, what the conditions were like uh, back in the day. And also, we can uh, look into it to see if there's anything that we can fix up in the any precautions we can take in the modern process of transporting um, grain to be baked for matzah. Okay, let's begin. Aser l'yaniach sach im kemach al gaba behema. It's aser l'yaniach sach im kemach to place a sack a sack with uh, flour al gabe bahama on the back of a bahama on the back of an animal a horse uh, ox uh, something to that effect ella 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 im unless yesh or ava taktav unless there's a thick skin of a thick or skin tucked up underneath it, meaning uh, like a, a, a saddle or a, a letter, a leather spread, something that is to some extent uh, waterproof. Why? Why is this, why is this a uh, an issue? The im lokein because if without that, yischamem, the flower will become warm from the animal, and and from the sun and everything else. And will also become moist from the perspiration of the animal, from the, the natural moisture given off from the body of the animal. So the combination of the heat and the and, and, and the moisture, this is what causes chametz. This is what causes the uh, the fermentation process to begin. So we it's best to not to avoid that by having some sort of throw. On top of the behemoth. Of course, this is not really how we transport things today. So we have to look into the modern process. You know, we have to transport them in a way in which the flower stays cool. Um, you know, transport them in, in a way in such uh, that the flower does not become wet or moist. So we can take that from this. Behemoth, sure, and if it's possible, Yizahar Gamkain, we should also be careful. We should be careful to not place harbe mini sakim, mini bags, this one on top of that one. We shouldn't really stack up the uh, stack up bags. Uh, why? Because through this, mischamim. The flour will become warm. If we increase the thermal mass, we have a big pile of uh, bags of flour. It increases the thermal mass. It holds heat more. So as a result, uh, the flour will hold the heat and become warm and will hold that heat. And then whenever you add water to it, it will beca it will become chametz qu more quickly whenever the kneading process starts, whenever we add water to it and actually start kneading it to dough. So again, this is just more a precaution. We, we don't want to have big piles of uh, bags of flour so that they're warm because the heat speeds up the process. So uh, again, I guess what you, we can garner from this is is that we take as many precautions as possible that the flour be not be warm, be cold, or at the very least room temperature, and that the water we use, the water that we use uh, for the kneading process also has to be cold, which of course is going to be the subject matter of the next simon, simon 109, which we will begin in the next video. Okay, I hope that was beneficial. We completed this simon, simon kovches, we finished. Okay, keep learning. That's Lacharaba. Cult of.